Hello YouTubers, uh, today I've received my new soldering iron which is a Metcal MX5010 It's the well, 5000 series MX which replaces the 500 series MX So let's uh, open it up and have a look Okay Right, so it looks like everything's individually boxed So first off we have the MX W1AV, this will be the stand. Some sort of instruction manual, I don't know why I use instruction manual for a stand. And here's the stand itself. Sponge, got some silica gel to keep it dry. Brass pad. Oh, and this one I believe you can actually adjust the angle on. So you can adjust this to suit you. I think I've seen on other videos that you can actually take these apart as well, I think this separates, but I don't know why you need to do that, so I'm leaving it as it is. Move this stuff. Next up is the MX H1AV, which will be the hand piece. It's quite a heavy box. Wraps up in the bag. Oop, one of those bits. These seem to be like different grips, I believe. It's like a metal, an aluminium grip with a rubber, with a rubber grip on it. The black one has a green one. I guess the green one to signify lead free. The silica gel pouch, and this is the hand piece. That's quite nice. You get the uh, Metcal tip standard tip changing tool. I've got this on the other end as well. Just like it's just like a heat proof. I think these are Teflon coated. It allows you to pull the tip off while it's live, and you don't need to cool it down or anything. Now, immediately, I can tell this is a more lightweight, which I'm, which I'm surprised at because this is metal. My other tools are plastic and they're heavier. Oh, well, yeah, you can unscrew. Yeah, so you can unscrew the grip and change it for one of these other grips. I'll have a proper look at that in a minute. Um, standard mains lead. The last box will be the power station. Leave the big box out of the way. This is the exciting bit. So, quick start guide, user guide, which is quite thick. I assume it's probably got 12 different languages in it. Yep. And then we have a fairly heavy base station. Get hold of this. There it is, bagged up in an antiseptic bag. There we go, that's the base station. Another silica pouch in there. Okay, so I have the MX5000 installed on the bench next to the SP440 desolving station and that's where my MX500 used to be. Um, I've installed the MX5000 supply tool on stand and I've also taken an RME3 uh, handpiece and a WS1 work stand from my old MX500 as I believe they're in they are compatible uh, but I'll actually have to test that and make sure that's true. Um, as I've had Metcal products for several years now, I've amassed plenty of tips, so... 1 to 800 series, that's a bit too extreme for that. Go. Put a nice new 137 into the MX5000 and then we'll give it a try. Okay, so if you've not seen how Metcal tips work, this is the tip here. And this is the handpiece, and all you got to do is basically slide it in until it's in firmly, like so. 
and if you want to remove them, you can actually remove them live. You use these the heat pads, so you basically grab hold of the tip, like so, and you can pull it out without burning yourself. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll switch on the system. I don't know if you're able to see that, let's, uh, let's just redo that. Okay, so I've manually set the camera settings so that we can actually see the display now. So let's just uh, restart. Yeah, a brief firmware version message and then it's ready. So because the handpiece is in the stand, it's in like a power saving mode. Uh, it doesn't need, there's some sort of like magnetic coil in the stand that stops it from heating up. Uh, as soon as you lift it out of the stand, as I'm going to do now, you'll see the power cranks right up and then it drops back down. Now that was the iron heating up, so it's actually hot now and ready to use. And then it idles again until you actually apply some load to the tip, i.e. by putting it onto something large and metal. So, go back in the stand again. Um, also I've also connected up my army free, so I'm going to, I think you press this button. There we go. Yeah, so I've now switched over to this other hand piece. So I'll pull this out of the stand and the power ranks up. And then back down to idle once it's hot. I'll put it back in. Now I noticed that the, the supplied hand piece was actually slightly quicker at heating up than the older RM3. Um, that's probably too expected to be honest, it's probably designed for this system. This is actually twice as powerful as an MX500. So, um, the benefit, I think this, I believe this graph shows like a percentage from 0 to 100 of the, the heating power. The heating power is actually applied by RF frequency in these stations rather than conventional heaters. That's why they're able to heat up so quickly. So I've noticed with the MX5000 it's probably twice as quick as the MX500 at heating up, which is to be expected as it's double the power output. So pull out the stand, what, a couple, two, three seconds and it's ready to use. So that's, that's a nice improvement. I hope they'll notice that when using it. The other thing I wanted to show was the hand pieces. Um, as the, the new hand piece is slightly thinner and slightly shorter, so even though it's metal, it actually makes it feel better balanced and slightly lighter than the plastic one. Now these are actually good, I can't, can't fault these, but yeah, this, this you know, is a really good hand piece, makes it worth upgrading.